and gentlemen, Dark Sider do it. They take it out. So this weekend is going to be Crouch Warriors Cross Up, which is the seventh Saga event for the Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour, uh, which is the final event as well before the Last Chance Qualifiers. I, I'm very, very happy that we've got one here in Australia so that we can showcase the talent of our local players as well as the guys in New Zealand as well because they're just across the water basically, like across the lake. So it's good to have something here for all of us to showcase our local talents. Heading into this event, I basically want to verse as many internationals as possible. Uh, Kazunoko, uh, Fenrich and Tachikawa being some of the main ones. Uh, Kazunoko in particular as he's currently one of the best, second or first debatable. So I really want to play him. Uh, yeah, just basically any international I can get my hands on. It's going to be really difficult if we want to win this type of event because we've got massive, massive players coming down such as Kazunoko, Tachikawa, Supernoon, Nakil, uh, Apology Man, just to name a few. It's many, many more. Um, so it's going to be really, really difficult, but I reckon us boys here in Australia, the OCE community, I think we're going to we're going to take some names, we're going to draw some blood, and at the end I think we're going to have a few upsets. So uh, yeah, we'll see you there. So guys, we're here at Catch Warriors Cross Up. Uh, my pool is just about to start uh, here. With, well, I'm in Pool B. Uh, my first match is, I think it will be Jolby. Uh, I haven't seen too much of his play, uh, so hopefully it should be a pretty cruisy first match for me in round one. However, round two is actually the run back from our BAM Grand Finals, where I took on Kanga Esports Dialo. Uh, so that'll be a really good run back, because since then we haven't played in tournament. Uh, at MEO, he didn't do it quite as well as what he expected. So I'm really, really keen for the run back. I'm hopefully going to send him home once again. So cheer me on, boys. We'll see you soon. Yeah, DS backs it. Dark side, its own Baxter stepping up here to play against Dilo. Strongest character. Definitely very experienced. Loves to have a lot of meter, just as any Yamcha player does. Doesn't quite get the punish on the deflect, but going to activate sparking a huge amount of damage here. Is he going to have the meter? No, he's not. This one. Gonna hurt with no sparking on Dilo's side. Ooh, he's gonna have to wake up with the DP and try and get something going. Corner pressure. Raw Dragon Rush. Baxter ready for it. Heck from Baxter right there. And nice counter vanish. Baxter was looking for the fake cross up there. Goes the same side. And now, cross up attempt from Baxter is gonna follow up with the guard break attempt. Is successful. Take him down in the corner with six bars a meter. Dump it all, and a very convincing win. I just uh, qualified for top 32. I only played two matches, actually. Uh, my first round match was versus uh, Jolby. I managed to take it over him, however, 2-0. Then my secondary match was actually up against Kanga Esports Dilo. I was expecting a close set. However, uh, I was pretty confident throughout the entire set with him. Uh, I took that one in a close 2-0. I'm really uh, happy with how I've played so far. My next match will be against actually Tachikawa, who's one of the best players in Japan. Came third at their Saga event uh, not too long ago. So it'll be a really good set between him. That will kick off at around 7 p.m. tonight, Melbourne time. Oh, it's so DBZ. Vanish doing well at dealing with Young Charles oh, kind of empty horizontal low. options. Baxter is out of characters, out of sparking, out of rounds, out of life, and we're going to look at DNG, Tachi Tower throwing all the meter, probably not going to be able Double to... Double level one, the optimization oh, from I forgot Tachikawa. I was talking about a player like Detonation Gaming's own Tachi Kawa comes straight from Japan, as we said. Own Baxter setting up on the left, and of course, Ponos, Japan, and Galileo, yeah, so Evo 2014 Blaze Blue champion. He tags into the fight off just to separate the damage, spread the damage around a bit, and not only that, but get an opening on Baxter's Goku, get the corner combo. Oh, nicely optimized, getting the full damage, but 
Standard with 16 knockdown. Spend the meter. Oh boy, this is looking rough. All right, can he get the second grab this time? He does, and now he's going to be able to go straight into the level three. Galileo with an amazing combo right now, doing 9,500 damage, I reckon. That was absolutely insane. And, and Dutt is going to bring two bars Baxter to the ground. Chuck the spear done. out. Galileo 2 0, pretty, making it look easy over Darkseid. It's Baxter. He has made it look easy, and that means we're going to have Galileo. Hey, this is Falco here for the Couch Warriors Cross Up. Uh, my Dragon Ball matches are going to be starting at 2 o'clock. First, I'm probably going to run into Zed, the winner of MEO. And then if I make it past him, I'm going to have to verse uh, Fenris, one of the best players from Japan. Stick right now That's as we right. see a local battle from two juggernauts in Australia. This That's is going right. to be a good one. Zed and Dark Side, it's Falco. That's right. We have got Melbourne's finest versus South Australia's finest right now. Falco taking a 2-0 for the local battle between two of our greatest players here. Falco is one of those players, the guy's capable of winning anything at any time, really. This is the gauntlet right now of Australia versus the world, the Dragon Ball Fighters. The next coming match is Falco, and I believe that's Fenri. Fenrich, Cyclops, Athlete Gaming. Against Cyclops, Cyclops, Athlete Gaming. That's right. You can't count out the meter right now. Just gonna get pressure right now. Great block on the overhead. He tried Gets to jump. L. Don't jump away from Bardock in that situation. The 5L is a vacuum. He's gonna chuck him to the ground. Level three, will it be enough? Oh, yes! Australia, where you at? Get loud right now. The building is blowing up right now. It's only one game, but this is one of the best. Any of the Vegeta assist, any of the Bardock projectiles from the corner. Tries to Lariat in and a nice. We've punished one apiece right now. One apiece. It's difficult. And now Falco, after such good defensive sequences, is coming in with two characters. Vegeta allowed an opportunity. Is he going to be able to tag here? No, he's not. Okay. I love to just stand still though. Being oh, but it gets a 2H. He's going to be able to bring in Vegeta with all that blue, blue health. health is going to be sliced off. Half health Vegeta on the side of Cyclops Gaming. Ben Reedy. Haven't seen any Larians this round, so to see it. Oh my goodness, this man, he's looking very strong right now. Oh, he gets that's a clean a hit, that's it! That's well going, he comes back oh to it behind the crowd, they're moving the crowd, <laughs> Australia are right here. Cyclops Athlete Gaming, Ben Reedy going down oh too dark sided. Goodness. Falco, South Australia, or Australia in general, every state, we're just mobbing the stage, the crowd is going nuts. Right now, we're still in winner's bracket, we're going to be bringing you Falco, he's going to be playing up against Ken Devil. Oh man, heartbreaking, Ken Devil leaving so many characters on so little health. Goes high, and he's able to lock him down. My goodness. Lots of damage reduction, but five bars on the side of Falco. He's probably going to spend some sort of level three just for a bit of a knockdown to see what he can do. That's right, do. he builds so much meter doing that. He's oh, going to have yeah, level right. three. He builds so much meter there. That was full five bars. One, one, three. Broly, this one hurts. It's going to kill. It's going to be one, one. Can he make it back with this Goku? This yeah. cannot. I was talking up Kindevu, and you can see the proof in the pudding what here, a my friends. Heck. My goodness. <gasps> Doesn't quite get it. He committed to the dive stomp. And he gets a clean hit. Going to be able to get this sliding knockdown close to the corner. Oh, but he was a bit too high. Tried to catch the up tech. And he goes with the command grab. He was reading. He was reading the, the dragon rush. And that's too bad. Falco is going to go to the lower bracket. Congratulations to Kendevu. He will move on to winner's top eight tomorrow at four o'clock. Definitely congratulations to Kendevu. Played his heart out there. And you can see the respectful golf claps in the background from the crowd that were kind of cheering for their boy Falco to win. But in the end, you've got to respect the play of Japan, of Kendevu. Stepping up on the stream next, which is Falco and Beast Coast Lord Knight. With it, Australia's last hope of being in top eight. An Brutal. excellent showing from Falco there, making huge waves in this tournament. And big shout outs to Beast Coast, Lord Knight, flying all the way down to Australia to show us how it's done and moving on in top eight losers bracket. Excellent. Hey guys, it's your favorite Dark Sided player once again, uh, here after day two uh, at the Catch Warriors cross up event. So everything's been uh, done and dusted now, the event's over. My first match, top 32, was against Tachikawa, which I lost 2-0. It was a pretty quick 
uh, 2-0. And then my final match uh, to duck out at the at 13th place was against Galileo. Same thing kind of happened with me versus Tachikawa where I just overestimated their uh, potential in the matchup. And I didn't really ever allow myself to get my own game plan started. So basically I was just too hesitant um, and that's why I just, you know, I took those L's pretty quick. My first major opponent was Zed from Melbourne, who I've played a lot in casuals online. Pretty convincing 2-0 for myself. The following match, however, I had to verse Fenrich, one of Japan's best players, well known for his crazy execution and touch of death combos. I had a very strong neutral plan going into the game. I uh, kind of kept him at bay and forced his spark early kind of made him use his resources and he wasn't able to confirm any large damage on any of my characters. And uh, yeah, I managed to come away from that 2-1, a uh, surprising victory. After that match, however, I then had to play Kindevu, who is well known for playing multiple fighting games really well. It was very close, he took it over me 2-1. There were a few drops on my part. I could have taken the match, but mistakes happen. I was then sent down to losers and had to play Lord Knight to get into top 8. Uh, Lord Knight uses some characters I'm very unfamiliar with, namely Ginyu and Piccolo. Uh, in addition to that, he played really well and I ended up losing to him 2-0 and bowing out at 9th place for Dragon Ball. Overall, happy with 13th place. I don't think that's a bad result by any means considering we had, I think it was more than 16 international players, so I played some either equal or better than some of the internationals who made it down. Um, however, I think that I could have done much better against Tachikawa and Galileo, so some things I need to improve on for next time. But yeah, that's pretty much it for Catch Warriors Cross Up and me uh, done for this year. So looking forward to 2019 and the future events for Dragon Ball and hopefully going to uh, play a bit more Tekken and Smash coming into the new year. So yeah, that's about it from me, guys. Uh, just a quick shout out to my fiance, Wes Kim. Shout outs to Waz's crib in the back. Uh, shout outs to Falco for beating Fenrich. And last but not least, shout outs to all the boom mics around the globe <laughs> servicing people like Will. Shout outs to SA supporting me well from behind back at their own Airbnb instead of at the event. Those fuckers. <laughs> Keep that in. Keep that in for sure. Keep that in for sure. Gentlemen, Darkseid do it, they take it out.